everyone, welcome to At Home Eats and welcome to our second video. Yay! I'm so excited to continue our cauliflower series with you guys. So first we did a cauliflower alfredo, which turned out really great. We added some fresh chicken to that and we had a brown rice pasta as well. So that was a great kind of low carb. That was a great kind of low carb dish and also be gluten free. That's a great option as well. So now we're gonna do a loaded cauliflower mash and it's gonna be kind of similar steps in the very beginning. And then I'm gonna show you how different um, it becomes towards the end. So we're gonna start with our cauliflower and <laughs> we're gonna start with our cauliflower and then I'm just gonna chop it up just like I did before and we're gonna chop it up into quarters and then we're gonna rinse it off, make sure that we uh, clean it really well, and then we're gonna put it in the pot for it to boil until it's fork tender. So our cauliflower is about fork tender now, so it's ready to go into the blender. So now we're just adding this into the blender so we can blend it up nice and smooth for our mash. And then after we blend it up, it's actually going to go in the oven because we're actually going to put some cheese on top and some bacon on top and just get that nice flavor with a little bit of baking time. And this we're going to add the milk. <laughs> we're going to add the garlic. We're going to add a little bit of cheese. Most of that cheese is gonna go actually on top. We're gonna add the salt and the pepper. We're gonna add in our sour cream. And then again, we're just gonna blend it, pulse it, and then scrape down. Is it on? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You guys have all done that. <laughs> okay, so. I'd say that's really close. Again, you don't want it to be too smoothy. Smoothie. <laughs> Smoothies are good. Um, you don't want it too smooth, right? You want it to have like some chunks. Like I like a little hearty mashed potato. Looks pretty good. All right, so now we're just gonna put it in container. We're gonna top it off and then we're gonna actually put it in the oven. Put the oven at 350 and then leave it in the oven for about 10 minutes or so just for that cheese to kind of melt and the bacon to kind of really uh, get the flavor uh, so the so the, the cauliflower can really kind of hone in on those uh smoked flavors from the bacon so we're just going to add the mashed potatoes mashed potatoes mashed cauliflower getting last every little bit because it looks amazing that actually looks really good. I'm really happy with that. All right, so we're just gonna shake that out a bit and then we're gonna add some cheese on top. Now this is good because it's 2% it's a little healthier. And we're gonna add in the green onion. And adding the bacon all around and then the cheese is going to melt from the oven and then everything's going to look really really great it's going to taste really really great you need to put this in the oven uncovered for 10 minutes again the oven should say 350. and we're just going to leave it in there again for about 10 minutes make sure that cheese is melted and the bacon's all good and crispy all right so now we have our fi our finished product we have our cauliflower mash or a loaded cauliflower mash so i'll tilt it so you guys can see everything so we've got the bacon nice and crispy got a little bit of cheese a little bit of cheese a lot of bit of cheese on there a uh, green onion and then it's all over um whipped mashed cauliflower so now it's time for ag shelby the rd and i have a question and let's read what the question says dear shelby the rd how many fruits and vegetables am I supposed to actually eat in a day? Great question. Um, first of all, I think that we should 
not necessarily focus on how many fruits and vegetables you should eat in a day, but just try to get a balanced diet. And so when you think about balance, we wanna make sure that we get a little bit of everything within our day, right? Um, but if most people, they do like the, they like a number, right? So three to five would be a good number. So three to five servings of fruits and vegetables in a day, preferably more vegetables than fruits. Uh, these are fruits and vegetables, regardless of organic or inorganic. Just focus on the rainbow and try to get a good colorful plate. We have uh, what is called My Plate, the USDA, uh, that the USDA has put out for us. And so looking at my plate, it has a fruit, it has a vegetable, it has a whole grain, it has a protein on there, and it has dairy on there. And so that's what we wanna focus on throughout our day. And so if we focus on that balanced diet, we will hit those numbers that we often have questions about. So if we need that number, three to five is a good number for fruits and vegetables. Make sure you get a great variety of them. So going from red to orange to purple to green a large variety eat the rainbow is what we like to say i like to say in clinic a lot to my patients is eat the rainbow that way you're not missing a lot and that you know that you're getting all the nutrients that you need so that was our second video of our cauliflower series thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to this video if you are a new viewer welcome welcome to the at home eats family and make sure that you like and share the video on your social media and also comment below tell me what you did tell me what you switched out or what you added in i'd love to see it i'll incorporate it to my next video so the last video in our cauliflower series is asian cauliflower bites so it's a great snack for the kids it's also a great alternative to asian style protein and add again um, add on the side of like some brown rice and veggies so it's really good i'm really excited so again, like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks. Remember that show? I can't sing this song. We don't have the, the clearance or the budget. <laughs> 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 Fun times in the 90s.